Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Notes from My Crib. I'm Carolina Romanyuk, your child and family sleep consultant and founder of Achieve with Carolina. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about breastfeeding with natural weaning. So weaning is a, you know, a natural process <laughs> and it actually means that you are ready and you have the foundation set to move on to the next stage in your life. So for children, it is, you know, several aspects that that can actually happen. And so for an example, you know, when they're born, it's weaning from being inside of you to uh, from the womb to going out into the world. Then from that stage, it could be weaning from the breast or the bottle, then from the crib to a big bed. And then another area can be, you know, going from home to a school or to a daycare. So there's several areas, several kind of stages that your child goes through when they wean and they're all natural. Now when it's reflecting towards breastfeeding and natural weaning, you want to make sure that your baby is ready and that you know that okay, this is the time that actually can actually start weaning them off. So for an example, if a child is younger than 4 months of age, they're biologically immature to actually have uh, any type of organized pattern. So your main goal is from, you know, birth up until four months of age is to actually just bond with your baby, get a chance to understand their personality, to just to know each other. So there's really nothing that you can do to, you know, quote unquote, spoil your baby. I think that's complete BS and I hate that term. It's just a time that you should, you know, be fulfilled and just be happy and to just be with your baby you know create an attachment yes I said attachment you're not going to you know spoil like I said or create any bad habits because it's not possible there's no form of patterns that are already set into place yet so really you're just you know feeding they're going to be pooping peeing and uh, burping and eating and then sleeping that's really your main schedule so just love it enjoy that time now from four Four months up until nine months what happens is there are patterns that are starting to form and it's even normal up until you know close to like nine months of age for a child to be eating at night of course when you're going to start to wean off and if you want to eliminate fully any type of need of feeds at night you want to get an okay the green light from your pediatrician that your child is good to go and that you could actually completely wean them off of feeding at night now when you do that make sure that you create some sort of a plan for yourself when you are going to be either decreasing the fees or eliminating them altogether. You want to make sure that when your baby is actually not being fed that you're kind of helping them along the way from going from point A of awakeness to falling asleep on their own when if they're already used to having some sort of a feed that helps them go through that. So, you know, for an example, one thing that you can implement is a wedge. Now, what a wedge is is uh, when you're feeding a baby the last memory that they have is the first memory that they expect when they wake up. So for an example, if they are falling asleep while being fed, that's their last memory. So when they do have a, wake, a night waking, that's what they expect when they wake up is a feed. So what you would do is you can put a wedge in between that. So what a wedge would look like, for an example, is you're feeding them and then before they fall asleep or while they're falling asleep, you might kind of you know fix their PJ or tickle their foot, just something to kind of like startle them to wake them up. Sometimes I would even go like blow on um, their forehead like you know like that like really a cool breeze that kind of reawakens them so you want them kind of to be drowsy yet awake so that keeps them alert and it helps them to see what their surroundings are before they fall asleep so those are really my tips for today and I hope um, you know that helps you and let me know in the comments below if you are breastfeeding or bottle feeding and you're planning on naturally weaning so let me know how that goes or you can email me at it's me itsme at achieve with and let me know there so talk to you guys soon. Bye. Love you.